Welcome back. Pancreatic cancer is one of the toughest cancers. It's the third leading cause of cancer death across the country, and the symptoms can often be vague. But an organization is looking to change that with some awareness and fundraising. The Pan Can Purple Stride Walk is this weekend, and we have some people here to tell us about the upcoming event as well as some close ties to the disease. So the Purple Squad, right? I'm here right. with Katie Tiggis. <laughs> She's the volunteer chair for the Pan Can Purple Stride Iowa, as well as Andy Lyons, who is a two and a half year survivor. So mm -hmm. I was telling you, congratulations on that first and foremost, because Andy, when we talk about pancreatic cancer, when we hear about uh, it being one of the deadliest diseases, you don't always meet survivors. That's right. So tell me about your journey. I knew it was coming. My grandmother died of pancreatic cancer, and two of her sisters did, and my mother did, her twin sister did, and their brother, and then my brother died. And so it's like, hmm, I wonder who's next. So I started investigating for some early detection and screening, and, um, where do I look? and um, I'd been seeing a doctor for 24 years before he found my cancer. Uh, a good outcome, though, because you're sitting here with us and you're going to be emceeing the walk. You're telling people there yeah. is hope. Oh, early detection was yeah. the key. I mean, everyone said, so what stage was it? It was like stage, it was just starting. So um, I was in the right place at the right time. I went to the University of Pittsburgh. Um, I had an appointment with um, surgical oncology. Um, two days later, 10 days later, I had surgery and then went through six months of chemo and here, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> uh, so this weekend, uh, you're uniting with some other people for this Pan Cam Purple Stride Walk. Right? <laughs> you got it. You got I it. <laughs> I got it all. I can be the MC now. Sorry, Andy. Um, Please. Yeah, tell you're us about purple. what's what's happening this weekend. Um, so this weekend, it will be Saturday. The event village opens at eight o'clock. It's at Raccoon River Park. Um, the opening ceremony is at nine. Uh, which Andy will be doing, and it will be fabulous. And then the walk starts at 9.30. Uh, raising awareness, raising money, uh, just the typical, yes. that, both things that are needed at this time. Yes, our goal for, there's 60 walks across the nation on Saturday, and our goal is to try and raise $19 million, and Iowa is trying to raise 145000 Okay. So that's our goal. Uh, it's not just a personal story for Andy, it's also for you as well, Katie. Yes, I um, lost my father actually a year ago last May. Um, and so my dad was the survivor talk last year. Um, and we lost him a month later after that. Sorry. But he was a miracle. He was stage four and he w couldn't have surgery and lasted for four years. So we were blessed to have those four years with him. So now we're honoring him um, this year with a big tribute to make sure that we can walk and keep raising that awareness. Walking, raising awareness, remembering loved ones as well, and celebrating people like Andy who are one of the survivors. Yes, and also um, PANCAN, the Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Network, does so much for cancer patients and their families. Um, a wealth of information, they're just caregivers, it's just really a fabulous organization, and I'm here partially because of money that we raised. Okay, so see, raised, you're yeah. uh, one of the people that they're walking for. Rain or shine on Saturday yes. at Raccoon River Park. All yes, right. we are hoping. Yeah, Fingers no rain. Crossed. No rain. Okay, all right. If Jerry Ann can help us out, we'll, yes. we'll take all the help. A little we can rain get. dance would help, Jerry. All right, thank you both for joining us.